Hello, my name is John and I'm the Science Education Manager here at Children's Museum Houston. Now, at the Science Station and at Genius Station, we've done a lot of things on polymers, whether that's thermoplastics, we've talked about DNA, and we've even made slime. Now, one of the main ingredients of slime is glue. Now, glue is made of a polymer called polyvinyl acetate. And this is actually what part of the molecule looks like. So what I really want to focus in on is I want to talk about the difference between a monomer and a polymer and what it actually looks like. So let's get started. Here we have a polyvinyl acetate molecule with our hydrogens represented by the white, the blue is our carbon, and red is our oxygen. And we consider this to be a monomer because this is one part of a long chain that gets connected. So this is again the same molecule, has the same parts, has the hydrogens, the oxygens, and the carbons, but it gets linked together. So let's continue linking these to demonstrate exactly what a polymer is. So each piece is a monomer, and they're all being linked together to form our polymer. So this is the polymer that is in polyvinyl acetate or in white glue. All right, this is my friend David. Wave to the camera, David. He's gonna go find some polymers for us. So go out on a hunt and see what you can find. Awesome, beautiful pumpkins. Not quite a polymer. Go out and hunt again. All right, what do you have here? Okay, pretty good. A magnet. Magnets aren't polymers, but all plastics are polymers. So you're getting closer. Now let's go find something that is just a polymer. Good luck. All right, here we go. A little food container. So 100%, good job. He found a polymer. Thanks for tuning in to learn a little bit about monomers versus polymers. Now, if you guys are following us on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to see all the new science stuff that's coming out every single day. And we'll see you at the next video. Bye.